If you're a man over 50, I want you to be honest with yourself for a moment. When was the last time you woke up feeling complete? When was the last time you experienced that simple, powerful signal of health and vitality that we call morning wood? If it's been a while, you're not alone. And the quiet concern that comes with that change is something I see every single day in my clinic. But what if I told you this wasn't an irreversible decline? What if I said that for a huge number of men, the key to rewinding that clock doesn't come from a pharmacy, but from a simple, overlooked mineral, a specific powder taken in a glass of water before you go to sleep? Stay with me. Because today, we're not just talking about a symptom. We're talking about rebooting the entire system of male vitality from the ground up. Hello, I'm Dr. Dot Eleanor Vance. For over a decade as a urologist and medical scientist, I've sat across from thousands of men, good men who have built full lives, and so many of them come to me with the same quiet concern. Doc, they'll say, I'm just not the same. It's been months, maybe years, since I woke up like I used to. The medical term for this is nocturnal penile tumescence, or NPT. And I want you to understand this isn't just about sex. Morning wood is your body's daily check engine light. Its consistent presence tells you that three critical systems are in working order. Your vascular system, your nervous system, and your hormonal system. When that check engine light stops coming on, it's not a failure of your manhood. It is a warning sign from your body that something is out of balance. For years, the approach was to treat the symptom. But what if we treated the system? Through countless patient histories and a deep dive into nutritional science, a clear pattern emerged, tied to a fundamental mineral our modern lives are stripping from our bodies. That mineral is magnesium, and taking it correctly is one of the most powerful steps a man over 50 can take to restore his body's natural rhythm. Now, you might be thinking, magnesium, that's the secret? But first, we have to ask, why are so many of us lacking this critical mineral in the first place? There are a few key reasons. First, modern agricultural soils are often depleted of magnesium, so the food we eat contains less than it did for our grandfathers. Second, chronic stress, a constant in modern life causes your body to burn through magnesium at an accelerated rate. And third, common dietary habits, like high consumption of processed foods, sugar, and caffeine, can all hinder magnesium absorption or increase its excretion. We are, in effect, being systematically drained of this vitality mineral. That's why supplementing isn't just a nice-to-have. For many, it's a necessity. The secret isn't what it is, it's why it works so profoundly when you restore it. Let's break down the three key mechanisms. Mechanism number one, the blood flow superhighway. Think of your blood vessels as highways. For a strong erection, you need those highways to be wide open. The master molecule that tells your highways to expand is called nitric oxide. Your body is designed to produce it naturally. The problem is, as we age, the enzyme that produces it can become sluggish. This is where magnesium acts as a master regulator. It's essential for the function of the enzyme, endothelial nitric oxide synthase, that creates nitric oxide. Without enough magnesium, your body simply cannot produce enough of this vital vasodilator. It's about restoring flexibility and responsiveness to the blood vessels themselves. By ensuring you have adequate magnesium, you give your body the raw material to open up the vascular highways, restoring the powerful, healthy blood flow that is the foundation of every erection. Mechanism number two, unlocking your testosterone. This is a piece of the puzzle that is so often missed. It's not just about your total testosterone. It's about your free, bioavailable testosterone. Imagine your total testosterone is a vault full of gold. Most of that gold is locked up by a protein called sex hormone binding globulin, or SHBG. Only the free gold, the testosterone not bound to SHBG, is actually usable by your body. As we get older, SHBG levels tend to rise, locking up more and more of our precious testosterone. 
Here's the game changer. Landmark research shows that magnesium competes with testosterone to bind with that SHBG protein. When magnesium binds to SHBG, it effectively kicks off the testosterone molecule, setting it free into your system. So, taking magnesium before bed doesn't just support testosterone production, it helps liberate the testosterone you already have, making it more effective. It's like finding the key to the vault. Mechanism number three, the master of sleep and relaxation. Why does morning wood happen during sleep? Because true, restorative sleep is when your body does its most important repair work. During the REM sleep stage, your rest and digest nervous system takes over. This deep relaxation is what allows the vascular and hormonal signals to happen automatically. But for millions of men over 50, deep sleep is a distant memory. Stress and anxiety keep your fight or flight system in charge. Magnesium is the body's great relaxation mineral. It plays a central role in quieting the nervous system by stimulating GABA receptors in the brain, the same receptors targeted by some sleep medications. GABA puts the brakes on brain activity, allowing you to relax and fall into the deep, restorative sleep cycles where the magic of NPT happens. So, now we know the why. Let's talk about the how. This part is crucial. How to take the bedtime powder correctly. Not all magnesium is created equal. The most common form, magnesium oxide, is very poorly absorbed. Avoid it. You want a chelated form, which means the mineral is bound to an amino acid. The best forms for our purpose are, first, magnesium glycinate. This is my top recommendation. It's magnesium bound to the calming amino acid glycine. It's gentle on the stomach and perfect for sleep. Second, magnesium citrate, also very well absorbed. It can have a mild laxative effect, so start with a low dose. Third, magnesium malate. This form is excellent for energy and muscles, making it a good all-around choice. An honorable mention goes to magnesium L-threonate. While often more expensive, it's unique in its ability to cross the blood-brain barrier and has been studied for its cognitive benefits, adding another layer of support. The regimen. Consistency is everything. When? About 30 to 60 minutes before you go to sleep. How much? Start with 200 to 400 milligrams. Follow the serving size on the container. Don't start higher. How? Mix one scoop into a small glass of water. Stir until it dissolves and drink it. It's a quiet two-minute ritual that tells your body it's time to repair. Now, a word on expectations. This is about restoration, not an overnight miracle. You're replenishing your body's stores. The first thing you'll likely notice, perhaps within days, is deeper, more restful sleep. The morning benefits will follow as your levels build up over several weeks. Be patient with your body. And a crucial point of responsibility. If you have chronic kidney disease, you must speak with your doctor before taking magnesium, as your body may not be able to clear it effectively. In fact, it's wise for anyone to consult their physician before beginning a new supplement routine. This magnesium drink is the cornerstone, but you can amplify its effects with a few simple, free habits. First, a 15-minute shutdown walk after dinner. No phone, just walk. It helps digestion, insulin sensitivity, and clears your mind. Second, turn off the screens an hour before bed. The blue light wrecks your sleep hormones. Read a book instead. And a third, almost laughably simple habit, hydrate. Your blood is mostly water. Chronic dehydration leads to lower blood volume and thicker blood, forcing your entire circulatory system to work harder. Proper hydration is fundamental for healthy blood flow. The absence of morning wood can feel like a quiet erosion of your confidence. I've seen it but I've also seen the light come back into a man's eyes when he realizes he has power over this. It's the man who comes back a month later and says, Doc, it's not every single day yet, but it's back. I feel different. I sleep better. I have more energy. This is not about chasing the man you were at 25. It's about becoming the most vital, healthy, and confident man you can be at 50, 60, 70, and beyond. It starts by understanding that your body is always trying to work for you. 
You just have to give it the right tools. It starts by taking back control. And sometimes that starts with something as simple as a single scoop of powder in a glass of water, a quiet ritual before bed. It starts tonight. Thank you for your time and your trust. If this was helpful, please consider sharing it with a man you care about. We don't talk about these things enough, and it's time we change that. Take care of yourselves, and be well.